And now the Bonfire Holiday Spectacular with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder, live from the Village Underground in New York City. Chairs are going to be a thing. These chairs are going to be a crackle, thing. Everybody. Crackle, crackle, everybody. Welcome out to the Bonfire Holiday Extravaganza. Thank you guys so much for being here. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> My hosting skills came back. Oh, man, we are always dressed so shitty for live shows. We really are. We look like a low-rung bank robbing crew. <laughs> the Santa Claus boys are back in town. We're just stealing pants from Coles. <laughs> yeah. Just go in and get an assortment of socks, and then I'm out. <laughs> they just stole tube socks. We're live at the Village Underground for our uh, live holiday show, Christmas show. It's Christmas. There's no Hanukkah stuff. I'm sorry, Jay. There really is no Hanukkah stuff here. <sighs> There is eight lights up there. I really feel like you're like pulling teeth to get that one. Though. Yeah, I do. Yeah, There's I don't lot. think Maccabee had fucking disco lights in mind. <laughs> oh. And for eight nights, those disco lights blared and blared. What they didn't tell in the story is there was a bunch of EDM. <laughs> oh shit! And, oh, oh! Uh, and you guys all shit. have delicious pudding at your table. Oh, hell yeah. Kinesis.com, it's called uh, Crackle Crunch. Crackle Crumble. Crackle Crumble. It's That's... in front of your face, dude. I can't read, Jay. <laughs> why are you afraid to How wear your glasses? How is it taking you this long? I don't know why you always grab the ball and like, oh, there's some reading to be done? Step aside. <laughs> <laughs> and then I watch you struggle through it. Uh, because I remember... How did you get Kinesis, but you didn't get Crackle Crumble? <laughs> Kinesis couldn't be spelled blacker if we tried. It's the, the, the can part of Kinesis is spelled like Wrath of Khan. Star Trek II, <laughs> the Wrath of Khan. Kinesis! Kinesis! Uh, Kinesis.com. That is, uh, that's Black Lou's cousin. Yeah. We're a family run business. You know what's here. hilarious? People are laughing. They think that's just a hilarious black joke, but it's Black Lou's cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the, yeah. <laughs> It's literally, literally. It's literally Black Lou's cousin. Black Lou. Fuck yeah, Black Lou. Fuck yeah, Black Lou. His cousin knows how to throw down a pudding like a motherfucker. He's like, what does our family do? Produce radio shows and delicious pudding. <laughs> it's great. It's called Crackle Crumble. There's uh, apple pie in it and nutmeg. And if you're allergic to anything in it, you're a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> She was like, this pitch is perfect, and that's where we're going to have to edit it. It's a live show. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be great to watch the sound editing equipment. She pulls Lou aside. She goes, you better edit that shit. <laughs> yeah. Get that out of there. Um, this was very fun. We were just outside uh, seeing some of the people as they came in, our, our awesome fans who filled this fucking place up for us on a Monday night. Yeah, Jay uh, also doesn't want to admit that he smokes black and mild like a fucking wayward 13-year-old. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> like a black 12-year-old. I'm smoking black and miles. I went out there. I go, Jay. He goes, you're not my dad. Get out of my face. I go, yo, I don't give a shit. I go, Jay, were you, did you skip school today? Hell yeah. I was riding around with uh, only one hand on the handlebars on my bike and the other one <laughs> ripping a black and miles. Yeah. What's up? You want to go get quarter waters? <laughs> You have latchkey kid taste in tobacco. <laughs> I have latchkey kid taste in everything. Yeah. I enjoy an Elio's pizza. Suck on that, America. <laughs> Suck a dick, America. I probably shouldn't have been allowed to cook that. <laughs> but we were outside hanging out, uh, me, you know, seeing people as they came in, and um, a fan, John Suzuki. Mm -hmm. He's here. There he is in the back. Gave a gave me a very uh, gave me a very uh, I talked to him and we hung out for a little bit and then he gave me a very nice San Francisco 49ers book, which I showed to Jay like hey check out this cool book. Well, here's what happened. Walt Dan was telling me about this is how I found out how differently me and Dan affect the fans of the show. <laughs> In the time he was telling me about this lovely book that he was given, 
by Mr. Suzuki back there. Which, by the way, sounds like I made up a person. It really does. Just to be shitty to Jay, I go, dude, this crazy guy fucking Mark Yamaha's in there. (laughs) Yeah. It's my friend uh, John Suzuki. Yeah, he just gave me the title to his house. So (laughs) I guess we do change lives. While he's holding this 49ers book and telling me how nice this man was to give it to him, he then received, I think, four more presents from the fans. He was inundated with gifts from all of you who had to walk around me go, excuse me, fatso, and so they can give Dan. Come I have to give Dan. Electronics. It's a painting I made of him. Yeah. A lot of, uh, and I told you, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I feel bad because Jay's like the person that can ruin that. Like he's that's like the only child energy bumping into each other. Where he's like, "You got a gift? That's cool." And you're like, "I don't even care." Well, now I don't enjoy it. I just started drinking. Well, yeah. I don't care. You know what? They like you. I'll, I'll just wait for you. <laughs> Let's be talking them down. Go, dude. I don't know. I just hope I have my fingers crossed. Like John, you better brought a fucking gift for Jay. <laughs> no, Dan, you fuck the crowd. I'll just sit here and watch like a weirdo. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk him upstairs as he's eating pudding. He's like, get away from me. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> Jay, you're on your seventh pudding. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I don't care. Crumble, you dumb motherfucker. I'm all, all right. <laughs> There's apples in it. I go, this really is a bonfire Christmas. <laughs> this devolved. Um, no, I'm happy that the people want to shower you with presents. They don't want to shower me. They want to shower you, too. No, no, no. They want to shower you with presents. They want to just shower me. <laughs> <laughs> They go, hey, can you move? Also, you are gross. Yeah. Does that guy smell like bologna? Dan, kiss my baby. Move it, weirdo. That's my big fear in the world, that I smell like bologna. You Isn't never smell like bologna. You've I know never I don't. smelled like bologna. Because every minute of my day is making sure I don't smell like bologna. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Christine watches you wake up half like three times a year, like Ronnie. <laughs> no, that's how Christine keeps me in check. She wakes up every morning, and goes, "Did we leave hot dogs out?" <laughs> <laughs> she does a secret under your. No, did I night sweat again? Under your baloney, <laughs> under your fitted sheets. I walk in early and see her putting a baloney under your fitted sheets, and she goes. So I keep that dumb dumb in check. <laughs> Don't tell Jay I've been baloneying his yeah. sheets for weeks. <laughs> that's my fear. You just prayed on my fear. It's okay. Do you think, I mean, that's an odd fear. Why baloney? I don't know. It's just my fat nervousness. Did someone ever say that to you? Like, yo, you, you fat motherfucker smell like baloney. No, but I don't know. I don't know if I have body dysmorphia or if I'm a giant fat pig. Whatever it is, either way. Through all my life historically, when I've been around other fat guys where I'm like, it's just us, right? A couple of fat guys hanging out. When I smell them, it's generally pretty wretched. I mean, like cheeses from around the world. You know when you go to the supermarket and there's like the regular like American Swiss monster thing? And yeah. then there's that other little round thing, the yeah, little yeah. fridge. It's got cheeses from the world. Yeah. It smells like that. And then I'm like, oh, I, I, fuck, I hope I don't smell like that also. So you think you wouldn't be able to tell if you, cause I have a weak sense of smell, so I can't tell sometimes. I always smell like weed and I never notice it. And you're worried you smell like baloney? <laughs> you don't smell like baloney. I mean, when you I say it, said... when, you, when you say it back like that, it sounds funny. But yeah. You know, some sort of assaulted meat. I've known you for over 10 years. I think at this point, I've been like, hey, Jay, sidebar real quick. Oh, no. Smell totally. like ham, dude. No, no. I don't think I do smell like that because oh. I work very hard to not smell like that. It's We've talked about my rigorous multiple knuckle asshole cleaning. It is problematic. It's problematic. Your goddamn right it is. It my asshole's on... always sore. It could if be I on... ever go to jail, you might as well butt fuck me. It don't matter. This is like a speech you give on your first day in prison. You go, I've been butt fucking myself for years. Hey, Dude, what are you the... Nancy boys going to take something I already yeah. took from myself? Yeah. You can borrow this, but you'll never own this. <laughs> <laughs> Count my chest. <laughs> I've had my to the people at home they've had in his chest. I feel like Jacob made us wear these hats like a fucking stage mom. Okay. I was in the back and then he just hands it to me, he goes, Here's her hat in like a <laughs> shitty voice. If you look over at Jacob as we're talking, he's like Baloney, baloney, he smells like baloney. 
He does that too when he walks by. He goes, how oh, weird. What's up, baloney? <laughs> my bologna. feline senses pick up my baloney smell. Yeah, that's the thing. I kind of figured, like, in life, you could either, uh, you can be thin and just be a dirtbag. Just be a total scuzzball. Wear fucking, you know, you don't thrift, think skinny? thrift shop shirts and all that shit. Or you can be, uh, you could be fat, but you gotta really clean. So you're saying skinny people don't have the upkeep that fat people do? Not the necessity of it. You're saying fat people go bad quicker. <laughs> <laughs> our, our cell date is a little yeah. earlier. You go, da, da, it's like, it's like, get the skinny one. That's organic. It stays longer. It's like Hawaii milk. You know yeah. they had to import it, so it's going bad quick. Just you go. This is Jay. Three days gets a little ripe. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm saying like if me and you did we were together in Bonnaroo in a 116 degree day, you saw who was having more problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was with my asshole hot girlfriend. <laughs> oh, Jesus. She's like, we're going to go now. And I'm like, yeah, I got to go. And you know, you're just sitting there sweating. I, love, I was mentally sweating. I love we have an audience here for this because I could show people what would happen with everything we decided to do at Bonnaroo when Dan was fucking uh, leashed to a, a hot, I mean, a real hot chick. All right. But he was I'm leashed. Not gonna see her. I'm not going to blow her spot up like that. She's Guys, here's so, her social. That's where you can contact she's her. She's so hot. Feel now, free to send her, her an email. screen names are, yeah. and these are her personals. So, Dan no, but every, on a leash. But every time, but every time we, we were going to do something different, we were like, hey, we're watching from side stage. Like, hey, in 15 minutes, let's all, this big group of people we were with, all the comics, let's all go watch from the front of the stage for a little bit. And we'd be go, Dan, we're going to the front of the stage in five minutes. And you're like, totally, front of the stage, that's great. <laughs> and then the girl would grab Dan and just go, yeah. and Dan would go, guys, we might just stay here. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely true. That's exactly she what happened. She whisper in the ear like when a fucking mob boss in a movie says something to their henchman, or she'd be like, shh, I go, yeah, it's not going to work, Todd. I got to stand right here. The boss says we stand right here. <laughs> the, la the last transport back to the hotel, which was far from Bonnaroo, was at 2.30 in the morning, and we were having a conversation en route to going to that thing like, uh, we always get here a little bit early because you don't want to miss the last transport back or you're fucked. You don't know where you're going. It's scary. Dan's like totally terrifying. I would never want to be stuck here at Bonnaroo. We got to make sure we get that last transport. Uh, we totally have to get out of here. And then the girl was like, <laughs> and Dan goes, I think we're going to hang out and watch D'Angelo. <laughs> Enjoy your gifts, Dan. Well, I hope you have 50 years of enjoyment with your 50 years of 49ers. Oh, I got all the Montana era. <laughs> don't make me fucking... I, do, I don't want to fucking cheer for Carson Wentz's knee collapse. Uh, oh, fuck you! They so pulled it out! They pulled it out! Best 3-10 team in the NFL! Go fuck yourself! You're on the wrong Jimmy toes. G, till I die! <laughs> Jimmy. I got a tattooed on my chest. Dude, I will pay for your Jimmy G tattoo. Never. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to age. I want his face right here. I'm worried about Josh Homme kicking women in the face. I got to worry about Jimmy G's tattoo on my face. Hell By yeah. the way, it was the camera, not the woman. We'll talk about it tomorrow on the show. Yeah. We talked about it last week. God damn it. <laughs> we already talked about it tomorrow. Our stupid fucking Terminator timeline. <laughs> I don't know where the hell we are. <laughs> I know we haven't introduced the crew. Is it time to introduce the crew? Oh, I don't know. I, I just, I just figured Jacob couldn't reach the light. <laughs> Jacob, full disclosure, Jacob was supposed to give us the light when it was time to introduce the crew. But then we showed him where the light was, and it was it's like, up. I mean, it's up. I it was can't fucking... see it at home, but it's up on like a light thing. And I go, I, I go, Jacob, when we're ready, just hit the light. And he goes, Will you show me where it is? Yeah. And then it looked like I was just fucking teasing him. I'm like, it's uh, it's right up here. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely like a moving on to the next round dunk contest dunk for Jacob. <laughs> yeah, you guys remember Nate Robinson was in the dunk contest? And you're like, no way. And then he did it. You're like, what? what? Through That's the like, legs? If Jacob hits the light, I'll be like, all right, Jacob's got ups. <laughs> What's that? I can reach you, stupid lights. <laughs> oh. I don't I'll care. Be, all right. I'm getting them all fired up. <laughs> See what happens when you bring that bad energy because you get a gift? 
I don't care. John's gonna get. John's gonna give you the sweetest gift. He's gonna be like, "Here's an iPhone 10. I gave the retard a book." So. John, if you give me an iPhone 10, I'll forgive everything. You can't put that on him right there. Just saying. Well, your book was probably pretty expensive. It doesn't have a dust cover, but whatever. <laughs> it probably came that way. He probably brought a brand new for you and then gave it to you. It looks like just a black book, but I'm sure it's fine. That looks refurbished. Do you want to introduce the crew? <laughs> Jacob, it's time to introduce the crew. Jacob, are you are you still no mad idea. at me? Are you giving me the silent treatment like my ex-girlfriend in a bottle? Fuck you are all he is. The crew. What? Yeah, you can introduce everybody. He's so nervous. What a nervous Nelly over there. I really wish you guys saw the real Jacob. Uh, by the way, I love... There's ne there's never single girls in any of our shows, but I want to get Jacob hooked up for the holidays so bad. You know what we are? He a Christmas party. He didn't hook up. You know what kind of radio show we are? We're um, a boyfriend makes his girlfriend listen to the radio Yo, show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a couple girlfriends go like... Ah! It's all right. Yeah. You guys are funny. I like your references, I guess. He's like, no, it's like I've we're my friends. And she's like, okay. I've got a lot of that. We, yeah, a guy's like, dude, you are the shit. And this girl's like, by the way, uh, what we get a lot of is the girlfriend selling out the dude. Do you get that a lot? Yeah. She goes, sorry, he doesn't want to come over. My husband's like a total fucking queer for you. I mean, you know <laughs> Because this guy would suck your dick if he let him. But anyway, you care if he gets a picture? He didn't want to bother you. And you're like, why are you doing this to him? We, yeah. we bought tickets two weeks ago, and I was like, I guess. Like, yeah, it's cool. Thanks. Nice yeah. to meet you. Oh, which one's mine? That little Homer over there in his vest. See the one jacking it like a zoo champ? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get Jacob hooked up so bad. There's, are you? Are you going? Jay, you have a cocktail coming to you. Oh, I'll take it. What What's up it? with fucking holiday party, Jay? Oh, John Suzuki. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cheapers creepers, John. Jenny, and also a new Suzuki bike. He's the heir to the Suzuki fortune. <laughs> Oh. You know it would be great if, if this was just a glass of AIDS? <laughs> He's like, old oh, Suzuki. <laughs> oh. Suzuki win a game. You just drank Beijing toilet water. <laughs> I know it's Japanese. It but, is know. the dookies of a thousand shoguns. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's introduce the crew. The reason that we have delicious Kinesis pudding and also the reason that we have a Cowboys fan to beat up. <laughs> One of my favorite people on earth, Black Lou! Black Lou! Lou! Black 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 Lou! You got a mic right there. Grab a mic. What's up, dude? Why do your Cowboys suck and then do well? <laughs> Let's talk about Carson Wentz, though. Oh. Why? Lou, why do you... You and, Dan, not, you and Dan are absolutely ridiculous for taking eagle shots in the fucking tri-state area. It doesn't make sense. I'm sure you guys... You guys. I didn't take shots, by the way. I was just retaliating you're looking, and you're shitting on the nine. You're looking for friends in the world <laughs> on the East Coast. In your Dallas and Niners, and you're just not going to find it anywhere. I'm not saying these are Eagles fans, all of them, but I mean, there's probably some for sure. No, yeah. No, 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 And they're all upset. Two and eleven. Two and eleven is the worst. That's that's a worse chant than three and ten. I mean, it just is. Two and eleven. <laughs> Yo, bro. I, what I love about Giants fans is they're going to rubber band so fast that when the Giants do have a ceiling, I'm like, yo, I knew right then and there. <laughs> Lou's about to be Super Bowl bound in three years, bro. <laughs> I said, get rid of Eli. <laughs> Mac do has some good ideas. Why don't we make all old people just do Harvey Weinstein? Yeah. yeah. Come on, Odell Beckham. You want to yeah. start the slot, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you want to watch me call some plays? What do you want to do? You want to come over when I'm writing all the roots? Yeah. Yeah. Black Lou, oh, everybody. Yeah. Go Cowboys. Don't ever. That's the meanest thing you could have said. Again, everybody, that awesome pudding on your table is brought to you by Black Lou's cousin, and it's... Kinesis.com. Crackle crumble. Crackle crumble. Yeah. Oh. 
Dan did some memorizing work. Uh, and also on our crew, of course, let me introduce her because she's my the love of my life, everybody. You know her. I really Dude, it's please. so weird. The world's so thick. Yeah. Jacob Batad, everybody. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Can I tell you? Hey, you know what's weird? When I go on the road, do people really think I fucking hate Christine? And here's the thing. I love her to death. I do not like her. That's just the basis of a good relationship. But I love her so much. Yeah. She's got to win you over constantly. She won me over. Hey, every day it's another experience of like, do I stay another day? Yeah. You no, said she is the love of my life, uh, and she is uh, such a big, huge piece of this show. We're also happy to have everybody. Christine Evans, everywhere. <laughs> Come on down here, Christine. Get up here so everyone can see your lovely holiday. Christine, everybody. Um, Christine, you said on the on the show you were going to show everybody how you can do full scissor splits now. Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, nobody's eating the pudding, and it's, like, devastating me that you guys aren't trying them. How uh, many people are eating it? Okay, okay, okay. Wow, she fucking... really does come in with that mom energy. Oh, hard. Mom. She goes, hey, Kenisa worked real hard on that pudding. Yeah, she did. You guys see what I'm talking about? It's like that all the time. Hey, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, it'll be better. Blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, cool. Everyone just awed for you. And you're like, you pieces of shit think you're too good to eat pudding? I'm just saying, because like, it was made by a black woman, you <laughs> fucking assholes. I want to make yeah, sure everyone knows it's free. Black hands all over it. This really, like, a lot of radio shows try to do holiday themed, but we're the ones that only give you a dysfunctional family feel. <laughs> At our it's a goddamn pudding, pudding. I was just thinking, I think the thing I've heard more than anything else from you is uh, that talking to me is your least favorite thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta stand by it. It's, it's never a great conversation. It always derails pretty quick. We say this a lot to each other. I just fucking said that two minutes ago. <laughs> You guys do talk like co-pilots. Yeah. We've also done the thing where we talk to each other where our noses are side by side, forehead yeah. to forehead. Like in an 80s action movie? Oh, yeah, totally. So why, don't, why don't you go ahead and fucking pull that trigger? <laughs> yeah. Fucker. We just circle for a half hour saying, throw the first punch. Do it. <laughs> fucking stand it right here. That's, I'm fucking, sitting... that's Philly as shit, by yeah. the way. That is Philly as shit. First punch. Throw the first punch. You'll throw a punch and do something. Do something, I'll fucking hit. Go ahead, throw the first punch. She's like, I'll walk away right now, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say there's a lot of love in the room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Christine just yelled at everyone to eat pudding. She was like, eat it now! <laughs> it's delicious. Uh, it is delicious. It is delicious. Christine, everybody, have a mixed noise for fucking Christine. Can I, can I tell we you? We fuck tonight, but she's on the rag. Oh, cool. <laughs> I like that you went real personal real quick. You want she gone? Cool. Here's the most personal thing possible. <laughs> Is this why I don't get presents? Uh, <laughs> you do get presents? Christine throws them away. <laughs> she goes, yeah, I'll give it to Jay right now. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck. Oh, yeah, this is going right to Jay. I was I was thinking that it would have been funnier when you're like, the love of my life, Carla. <laughs> Mary Carla and Isabella. All right. oh, Jesus Christ. That would have been a real heel turn right there. Oh, but what a great We're getting Christmas. back together, everybody. Ah! Hey, I'm here. Oh, man. Oh, I know. How about it for our executive producer? Is that your role, Jacob? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I want to say you're, I want to say that you're the public school teacher that just gets rolled by the students. He's <laughs> like, I'll open your books. Like, shut up, Mr. Patat. Do you remember, remember the beginning of the movie Lean on Me when they started playing Welcome to the Jungle? Yeah, yeah. And the one teacher was like, hey, don't do that. And they started banging his head in the ground. <laughs> yeah. That's Jacob, everybody. Yeah. We love him. You know him and you love him, everybody. The executive producer of the bonfire, Mr. Jacob Batat. Got his own microphone. Jacob, call him Jake Batat. Oh, Jake, you can, come on, stay right there. What are you doing trying to hide? How you doing, Jake? I'm good, I'm good. We're talking to Jacob Jake. or Jake right now? Who's <laughs> Jake? 
Is this work, Jacob, or are we talking a loose ass Jake? It's Jake tonight. Tonight's Jake. Hell yeah. There's a couple of fine ass ladies in the audience here by themselves. I don't know what's going on. Ladies, if you're by yourself, Jake is single. <laughs> ladies, leave your man at home. This is left at 30 in the <laughs> If you want a guy that looks like an A&R guy from a record company. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Mm, I heard he's signing new acts. <laughs> if you want to get finger blasted yeah. to ESPN 3's NASCAR tonight. <laughs> I'd have to say Rusty Wallace was my favorite driver of all time. Huh. Do you have a high iron diet? <laughs> Your pussy tastes like nickels. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I had my face in a coin star. I can't be the only NASCAR fan in New York City. NASCAR fans! I see. John Suzuki! Fortune! Not even Captain Captain D's from yeah, Austin! Yeah, Captain D! Just don't care about it. Wow. You just oh, tumbled the shit out of that. <laughs> He's like, no. Captain D is not a fan. Yeah, I am a mutambo. Shake up a ton, everybody! Ah, oh, dude, I'm very excited for this one. Is it time? I think it's time. Is it really no, time? Well, actually, here's the deal. Is like... You guys have, if you've listened since the beginning, you know our live shows were pretty rough in the beginning. Uh, we tried to shave Jacob. Terrible idea. We shaved three little patches of hair off of Jacob. I knew shit went wrong when we had a child's pool up here before the show, and I was like, this is going to go <laughs> real bad. We're going to shave a live man for a radio show? And then we had a bunch of guests in Austin, Texas, and that was fun. We realized maybe, you know, we should streamline it a little bit. But sometimes there's stuff that we definitely want to do live. Are we ready to do it? God, oh, dude. Confident Jacob, I wish you guys could have that energy thrown at your way because he goes, here we go. Yeah. Lock, lock I, and I did a couple key bumps with him in the bathroom. Oh, there's nothing I want to do more than coke with Jacob. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, man, you guys want to find an all-night ziplining place? Uh, he goes, I bet I, there's a place. You if know we what? drive to the Poconos, there's a place. Hey, I don't know I don't know if this is me or if this is the yay talking. <laughs> but sometimes I just want to walk into that golf studio and I want to say, Deb, run away with me. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like if I, I would do it right now. I wish I had this confidence when I wasn't all gacked out. <laughs> We're friends, right? You guys don't talk about me behind my back, do you? <laughs> you guys are cool, right? Yeah, fuck. Oh, fuck, man. I'm losing it. Give me another one. We have a chance to bring to the world one of our ideas. This makes us so happy. Everyone, if you've listened to the show with any regularity, you've heard us mention the possibility of this happening. So I want to present to the world... <laughs> Presenting to the world, everybody, for the it first actually, time in public, his premiere experience. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Dead Red. Fucking dead rat. The motherfucking dead rat lives. <laughs> oh, dude. I really hope we can get him booked on that film festival. If we could turn this into a cash making endeavor. <laughs> dude, the dead rat shows up for your bar mitzvah. That'd be great. DJ Lou Whiskey, everybody. Make some fucking noise for him. DJ Lou. 
take our first break, everybody. We're hanging out. It's the holiday show for the bonfire. Make some fucking noise. Live from the Village Underground. We'll be right back. Don't worry. We don't actually have to do, like, the real commercial breaks. Since this is... We learned, we learned very early in the live shows when we actually did a live show that commercial breaks really fucking lose the audience. So there's not going to be like a weird intermission every break. We're just going to come right back. What's that? Give stuff away. Give stuff, you fucking greedy motherfucker. It's free tickets. Yeah, he's right. What do I look like? Dan, you, you have a sack full of presents. Give some out. This Santa Claus don't help no one. <laughs> this Santa Claus wants to take all of his bounded books home with him. You ready, you ready to come back? Let's come back, motherfucker. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Live from the Village Underground in New York City. Yeah! Yeah! Music by DJ Dead Rat. Dead Rat. Playing... Oh, my drink. You're right. Good call. Dude, we didn't even, uh, we told Lou he'd only have to wear the helmet a little bit. But, man, if you guys can bully into him wearing it full time. I mean, Lou, there's only another hour and a half. Are you fogging up? Oh, all right. Take off the helmet for now. We want to save that beautiful neck. That sounds like an sexually aggressive thing to say to somebody. Hey, Lou, watch that neck. Watch that champion neck of yours. Oh, <laughs> uh, should we bring in our first guest tonight? Fucking A, right? We should. I think we have a lot of fun things happening. We got a lot of great guests funny. tonight. We got a fun show lined up. But our Man. first guest, really, you know, one of the greatest people, human of, beings on earth. Absolutely. He's been on the bonfire several, several times. Uh, one of our good buddies, you know him as one-fourth of the Impractical Jokers on True TV. How about that for Sal Volcano, everybody? Yeah! Take a seat. Hey, what I love is that you're dressed like Feldman's uh, choreographer. <laughs> you look like you come out and you go, Corey, just on that four, five, six, I'm going to need you with the angels to plant and push. Remember, I came. I came for the pudding. I stayed for the DJ Dead Rat. <laughs> I That's submit. The of the show. I submit. Lou wears that in studio now all the time too. Oh. You gotta. Fight, you gotta commit. You gotta Bro, commit I mean, to that. You're gonna catch a kid, Yeah, you're gonna catch a kidney shot off the stage. <laughs> it's a good idea. Sal. What is with this pudding? I walked down. Everyone's like, you gotta fucking eat this pudding. You gotta eat this fucking pudding. Oh, That's where the acid is. It's a mass suicide. Yeah, it's a trip then die. <laughs> That's that's DMT in that. I thought you were a camper. We're all campers down here. <laughs> Burn in the fire. Down here we're all campers. Crackle, crackle. <laughs> How great is that? Holy shit. You didn't even you haven't even gotten to the apple pie part yet. What are you what is that underneath? It's gonna knock your dick in the dirt. <laughs> that does sound like gay speak. You're like, oh honey, you haven't even got to the apple pie part. <laughs> You're just breaching the top. That means the Molly's not even fully affected you yet. Take a snap in your nose and go all the way into the apple pie. That's what I call the deep meat of my butt. <laughs> oh, when it gets dark again? Because you know it's bright pink for a couple inches. But then it goes murky again. No That's matter how what, good. That's you how good cannot that. clean your ass any deeper than a finger. Ah, oh, dude. And I really, that's the pain I have to live with every day of my life. I love that you're like a guy that runs spelunking tours, but for buttholes. Oh, totally. You're I'm like, more of a stalagmite than stalactite guy. <laughs> my haggers come from the top. Ah. Yeah! We didn't know if he's gonna show. Is it real, everybody? It, oh, if you're an old school camper, which is I mean, only the better part of two years. <laughs> we oh, if you real. go way back to 2015. <laughs> hey, hey! It's Mark Norman doing his live Mark Norman drops, everybody. Uh, all right. We couldn't have a better segment for this to be happening. Oh, dude, god damn it. I'm so happy Mark's here. Yeah, and I'm, I mean, Sal, you were here for our Corey Feldman foray into our PhD and his musicology. If you recall, Sal, when we all went to see Corey Feldman live, Sal got invited up into the cockles of the fucking situation. 
Like he got a real inside track to what was going on with the Angels. He got to sit on a cloud with Corey and the Angels. <laughs> I had a cockles of the situation pet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, we, they invited him up. It was all like exclusive, it seemed like. But you said it was more just a waiting game. Yeah, I waited for a while. He was kind of busy. He did some chit chat. We took a couple of pictures. He didn't know who I was. But he seemed like, <laughs> he seemed like a nice enough fellow. <laughs> he, had, yeah. he had two or three cakes up there. Really? And then he was perturbed that they cut one of them up for some reason or another. He was upset it's about just, it? For, I can't recall why. It's not going to really make a great story for now. If you can get into that, a situation like that, and he doesn't know who you are, you should have just asked him for advice on vampire hunting. <laughs> you should have really frog brother him right there. He goes, I hear you're the guy to talk to about... Uh, I got a bit of a vampire problem. <laughs> my brother, my big brother's been sleeping into like three. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. I'm yeah. here that we can bring Sal into another chapter and actually do for the first time something that we've never done on a live show. Because yeah, on the live show, on the live show, you uh, hear us, or if you listen on demand, I'm not going to judge you. Yeah. Um, if you listen a lot, we watch a lot of videos and we kind of comment on the videos. You guys have to follow along. On Twitter to watch. Yeah. It's a but lot of work. It's a lot of work. We're and, really shitty hosts. And one of... <laughs> we're not radio guys by nature. Huh. Um, we're but, like <laughs> Yeah. By nurture. Yeah. <laughs> Oftentimes, Jacob has to say words like, guys, talk. Or, uh... Oh, yeah. Or stop just watching this thing and say something about it. It's somebody dancing. No one knows what's happening at home. <laughs> and we're like, we're going to get it, man. I promise. But... One of our uh, just kills we've had on the take show, downs. just real takedowns, was of Instagram model and Bo, Sierra Sky, yeah, and Roman Palumbo. Oh, you did? <laughs> uh, they're two Instagram models, very famous, and we did an episode just about how beautiful and dumb they are. And I then mean, they blocked us on Instagram, episode. which they were correct to do. He's hot. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, you just wait, Norman. It's going to get way steamier. All right. So we figure for the holiday By show. The way, hey, Mark, Mark, do me a favor. If Justin Silver's in here, tell him he's hot, too, or he's going to obsess over that all night. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is the guy hotter than me? I don't understand. Silver's getting old. <laughs> Silver's long in the tooth. <laughs> By the way, Big J looks like a mall Santa on a break. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah. It's who you were born to be. I do the 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. shift at Macy's. Let's wrap this bitch up. <laughs> I gotta go tell kids it ain't happening. Uh, you're the you're the realistic well, Santa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want a toy. You go. Yeah. Well, you should probably get your mo mom off the junk first. Anyways, yeah. What kind of toy? Look at your mom. Don't ask for anything electronic, man. I mean, <laughs> board game tops. <laughs> <laughs> So we figured for this live holiday show, we would watch a little bit of a Roman and Sierra video. Never seen before. Yeah. Check back in with them so you guys can actually see what we, how we don't do any show prep. <laughs> you can see why it hurts so good to just watch people be idiots. And then whenever the you want to yell pause, just yes. pause and shit on it. It looks like we're just making fun of two beautiful people. But and we are. We are, of course. That's true. You're right. But eventually, they talk. <laughs> and, and, then, and then when they talk, you're like, oh. Like, I think with Corey Feldman, and I don't know if you can agree with this, Sal, like, you feel... You, I agree. Yeah. He deserved what he got. Right, Sal? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sal, no. you always say it. <laughs> what do you say? What do I say? No. Am I, what, do you feel like I will hate them after you play a few seconds? Oh, no, I know you will. You don't hate no. them already? <laughs> I don't take anything away from a still. Uh, you know what, Sal? Sometimes the Staten Island really comes out of you. Ah. <laughs> it's a real God bless. Tell your mother I said hello. <laughs> oh, come on. He's a good he, kid, this, Roman. This guy could be a doctor. Or, uh, I know his mind. Never let anybody go hungry in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Palombo's in the best. <laughs> <laughs> his, son, his son's a bit of a fakakta, but you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 come on. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but the second you hear them talk, you'll be like, oh, okay. I get why you guys, because, you know. Well, let's just play it. We're going to play. Can we know what, can, you, can we? This see, is a video of them about? going through their bags. This is what the world's been. 
yeah. These, I what do you do in your bags? Like, w- the bags they carry with them. He like, carries a purse? <laughs> he carries a backpack. Backpack life forever. Don't fucking mock oh, that. Mine's in the back. That's hilarious. I know there's some strappers in the audience. Uh, you don't want to yeah. shit on them. You don't want to shit on them for the bag in general because you're a backpack guy. Backpack life all day, every day. Women carry purses. It's lit. <laughs> Oh, you got the Jan Sport? You did. <laughs> you did. Is that oh, a Tubi? Shred. <laughs> this is them. That's yeah. Is yeah. it going to bode well for them? No, no. no. Oh, that, yeah. that was them? Yeah, but I also oh. like Sal because he really is Staten Island. He's got that tipping point where he's like, yeah, fuck them. <laughs> and you're like, nah, I'm going to give the benefit look. of the doubt until I absolutely can't. And then when I can't, look out, everybody. <laughs> Sal, this is a guy who wears a lot of sort of see-through t-shirts. So sheer. And sheer. I want, when we play the video, I want everyone to look on his, to our right, his left ear, for the fucking obnoxious earring, which is hot guy I've never been told that you look like a fucking moron energy. <laughs> So this is them going through their bags, showing, because people on the internet are so creepy that they're just like, what's in your purse? It's like, can we do a video? And Roman's like, that is a good idea. And they're really hoping for like, ah, I guess, but travel butt plug and beats. Oh, what the people at home want in that? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. She's like, lube, because we always do it. (laughs) Yeah. No matter where. Condoms, because I'm always safe, but I'll fuck everywhere. Uh, Yeah. But that's not what it is. It's just like dumb hot people shit. Oh, yeah. Well, let's just play it. Today... We're doing the what's in your back. Oh, stop so, pausing already. See? See? What? See? You thought you were better than us. Uh, you thought you were better than us. Uh, you thought you were up on your high uh, mountain. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sal's taking a fucking walk. Uh, no, wait. Oh, I'm not going to judge them. They're beautiful. They're probably good people. No. Uh, they probably are good people. They're Dan, fucking. Sal's dressed like he's going to throw a guy out of Webster Hall. <laughs> Mark Norman drops, everybody. <laughs> what I love is Mark's killing in the room, and then people drive are going to be like, what was he wearing? <laughs> you you responded to that like you related to something from, like, your DNA. Like, you guys, people have you have probably never been to, been to Webster Hall. Uh, I'm like Louis C.K.'s dick. You never know. <laughs> you never know when I'll pop up. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Dead Red V. Mark Norman. Yeah. The mashup is complete. And did I see, am, am I crazy in that, is he wearing like a dangle earring? Like Dude, he's a, wearing a Lawrence Taylor 89 <laughs> earring. Yeah. Do you remember when Dion came out of Florida State and you're like, this guy's got a giant fucking dangly earring. It's, Roman ain't fucking taking a pick six to the house. And he's like, he's like one dangly earring? Yeah. Oh man, he is. Is he European? I'll give him a pass if he's European. He's so American. He's American? Oh Red, my white, God, blue. He's so American. <laughs> An apple pie. So let's just see what some of the things they have in their bag. Today, we're doing the what's in your bag. So we've gotten a lot of like Instagram DMs and like comments about getting to know us more. So we wanted to just. Pause it, Christine. Oh, oh, no, no. We have got a lot of DMs. Sierra, you have got a lot she of DMs. Has. Their ratio of, of followers on Instagram is crazy lopsided. They're both Instagram models, but she's in the millions, and he's got like a, a hundred some thousand. But their brainstorming sessions are probably great. She's like, a lot of guys ask what's in my bag, and he's like, oh, I was just going to say a lot of people ask me what's in my bag, so it's a good idea. Let's put that up on the board. A lot of chicks are like, what's in your backpack? Yeah. And if I'm being honest, I do follow her. <laughs> Dan does. I used to, then she blacked me. Oh. Uh, me Dan. too. Yeah! <laughs> Did she Did have she an Did she say comments? Uh, no, comments? no. Comment. No, it's just hot girl. Like, I didn't give up on words. Okay. Dad, did you actually block you, Mark? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did, too. He did, too? Yeah. He blocked us, too, but it's for other. We get blocked. But Roman, it's like, come on, Roman. You think we heard on that one? But those eyes. Wait, did he block you because you interacted with him online or because he's heard this and heard he and heard. just picked off everybody who's been making fun? Yeah, it's kind of like what Corey Feldman did. Oh, so I'm next. Yeah, yeah, you're guilty by association. Right. Well, by the way, you're all fucked, too. They did what Corey Feldman did, yeah. They, they came, they're like, oh, people are talking. About us, we're having some fun. That's fun. And then they listen. And they go, These guys aren't being fun. 
They go, These wow. guys are saying terrible things about us. Is that how we come off? And then it's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, don't they get we're just clowning around? It's like, they don't. <laughs> they don't get it at all. But then again, like, play some of the video. Today. We're doing the what's in your bag. So we've gotten a lot of, like, Instagram DMs and, like, comments about getting to know us more. So we wanted to just show a little bit. Oh, I forgot I had a double-headed sure dildo in here. Bag and do some fun stuff like that. Yeah. So let's bust into it. What do you got in your bag? Bust into yeah. it is something it's that guy with way too much confidence. Come on, everybody. Let's bust okay, into it. makeup wipes. I always have these on me because after a shoot. Pause I it. Pause off. it. Christine, are those really to wipe her ass if she shits in public? <laughs> Jay, you can't give away the clip. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> I was say, that was just the edge. Dude, I would have broke that news. And it, by the way, if anyone looks in your purse, it looks like their makeup wipes, but they're really to fucking, if you just got to fucking pinch one off. She goes, I, I would have respected beach. her much more. She was like, these are my makeup wipes for when I get mascara on my asshole. Yeah. <laughs> for when I bleach it, it leaks. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I bet when she shits, there's no wiping necessary. Is that your fantasy world? I bet it just breaks off pristine. <laughs> the corners of it are like twisted like a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> in a perfect, and in a perfect world, she doesn't know what bologna smells like. <laughs> She's what's that smell? I'm like, masculinity. <laughs> it's not man, bologna if that's what you're thinking. A man's desire. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is a baloney if that's what you think. <laughs> Makeup. So I always have this. That earring is infuriating. The dangle. Yeah, every time it dangles, you're like, I just I want to tear it off. He's wearing, a, he's wearing an earring like Sinbad on Star Search. <laughs> 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 he's dressed like fucking Walter from a different world. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, are those contacts, or does he have beautiful icy blue eyes? Like oh, he's got no, no. beautiful icy blue Oh, he blue does? Eyes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Those white fangs are natural. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like a hot Rufio. <laughs> Norman, that's perfect. Oh, Justin yeah. Silver is somewhere cutting himself on the thighs right now. <laughs> he's just hitting himself in, the, in the, his head <laughs> in the back. Why yeah. does the world keep spinning? Come on. <laughs> you still got it, J-Man. <laughs> you got it, J-Dog. Or whatever. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. you didn't want sand on your. I hate sand on my feet, so I always like. I'm like, babe, want to wipe? He's like, babe, I'm good. But I always have to wipe my feet. Oh, so like, honestly, babe, I, I don't want to wipe. Did anyone anyway. catch any of that? <laughs> <laughs> Did that just sound like a hot Tasmanian devil, or is like, yes? <laughs> yeah. Would you believe me if I told you I got every word of it? <laughs> you did. She doesn't like sand on her feet. I heard that part. So when she goes to the beach, she has those makeup wipes, and if she gets sand on her feet, she can use the makeup wipes to also wipe sand off her feet, a.k.a. shit in her butt. That's our code breaker, Jay Oker said. <laughs> I hate Sorry. sand on my asshole, half, I mean feet. I'm half Navajo. Yeah. <laughs> he feels the ground and then listens to what she says. I go, she's for, talking about shit. For the gore. For the gorgeous squaw, brings up her makeup voice. Thank you. Great hair. Just so the crowd does understand the difficulty of doing this show, as you see, we haven't watched, I believe, 30 seconds <laughs> of a five-minute clip because we just keep stopping uh, and yell at them more. I'm going to push forward. is going to be fucking seven episodes. <laughs> Buckle up. Let's let's keep going. Let's let's keep the, going. We'll watch a little bit more and then. Tifolitos. Dan Sal, guess right now. What was the last age this girl saw a pube? Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're going we're going dead honest. Hmm. So I was going to go 16, but someone said 6. Someone just said 15, and I'm like, guys, current climate, let's just, come on. It's and okay if you say 15, but you can't say 15. Or, <laughs> yeah, or, or you can't, can't breathe through your teeth and go, 14. <laughs> or, yeah, you can't think with an mmm, like, mmm, 14. A nice, what, what if I told you it was probably a tasty 12? <laughs> yeah. You can go like... 17th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> right more. It was 17th birthday at midnight. Uh, <laughs> I'm in the clear. <laughs> right before she joined the reserves. <laughs> Do you think, I mean, they don't have body hair between, one, there's not one body hair between the both of them. He may have some taste, a tasteful little tuft between his pecs. <laughs> a tasty tuft? 
<laughs> I love Jay sitting back in his Santa hat and saying that. He goes, a tasty top. No, no, I'm not gay. I just want to watch you jerk off for me. <laughs> so I'm sorry if the chick is God. He, and he's like, hey, why don't you take off your pants? And I'm like, don't fuck, I'm not paying you to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking dance. You know, keep, the, keep the shredded tank top on. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty tough. Worst cereal ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sal's got to get out of here, and we're going to uh, take our next thank break. Thank you. All right. Sal, we love you. Sal Volcano, everybody. I love you. I love you. I love you. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. God bless. The real style volcano, God bless. Let's take our next break and we'll be right back. It's the bonfire, live from the village underground. Yeah. Let's get ready for some little more DJ Dead Rat. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Live from the village underground in New York City. DJ Dead Rat. You better get hired for some gig. Someone hire DJ Dead Rat so that Jacob making that ridiculous helmet. Which you can see at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that shit. We'll put the picture up of DJ Dead Rat. We're live from the Village Underground for our Bonfire. Yeah! Live holiday show. Uh, our next guest, very special guest, Jay. I think he's the funniest human being that's ever walked the earth if he has this guy. But that's my opinion, everybody. But I think you'll feel the same. How about everyone for the hilarious David Tell? Thanks for having me on, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, you're going to prince us? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I sit over here? Is this a... Yeah, I didn't know you were going to do the Prince thing and uh, fucking perform with your back to the audience. Oh, it's out of work Santa. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to guess something. I'm so glad that that's a man. I thought that was a robot when I was standing in the back. You know my feelings on AI, Dave. I don't exactly. trust it. Taking jobs away from our own drunks. God damn right. <laughs> Thank you. Dave, thanks for coming. Uh, so coming great to have here. you here, man. Thank yeah. you for coming down. This is our big holiday extravaganza. Yeah, I can tell by the uh, uh, the big word on the street is pudding. <laughs> let everyone know, Dave. You let all the podcasts know. We're the pudding brand. This is like, is word getting out about the pudding? Yeah, I was like, what happened? Did they close the play, Annie? I mean, what happened with all this pudding? <laughs> We try to bring call? people up, the spirits up. What calls for a pudding celebration? I don't know. I, that's a weird thing of 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 anything. I, I pudding. I mean, honestly, it's not even uh, Christmas yet. <laughs> well, it Dave, it was game. either for our brand, it was either pudding or sex jelly. Oh, there you go. Well, so we got a pudding that mimics as a sex jelly. Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you. There's that. a fine you can line fuck with the pudding. Yeah, exactly. I'll be honest with you. I'm not telling you how to live, but you could probably just fuck that cup of pudding. Yes. <laughs> or as they call it in my house, lights off. So. <laughs> <laughs> Were well, you gonna do that one, Norman? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I like I like a show with uh, one lead and three sidekicks. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> we know how to distribute the ball, Dave. This is great. So let's take a look at the crowd, because I think I was on the first one that you guys did here, right? You were. You were. The crowd has grown a bit. Look at them. They have. They, really they have, have grown. I see it. Also, we did the show at a time that wasn't five minutes after work ends. So yeah. we gave them a chance to get here this time. Yeah, these aren't people that had to leave early. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. They had time to get here. And you have to account for the tides coming from Staten Island. I mean, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Run into a nor'easter coming out of uh, <laughs> We were happy. We were happy to have you on, Dave, because I know you're a, a festive celebration guy. This is the second festivity thing that we've done because it was your birthday last week. That's right. We did and I was wondering what you thought of my gift. Yeah, uh, yeah I loved it absolutely. It was uh, it was a really really thick dildo. Wait. That's not describing it well enough. <laughs> it was the dildo at the bottom of a bag, but on top was lots of delicious chocolate. Tons of candy. Yeah. So you gave him, you, wait, you gave him dick and chocolate? Yeah. Oh, by the way, we're talking, uh, Giardelli and fucking lint stuff. Oh. Like real chocolate. <laughs> so he made you feel high class till you got to the bottom, and then, yes. you, and then you just felt like a dirty girl. On top, 
On top of a dildo, and I think I can speak for Christine when I say it feels like it was already used. <laughs> no. No. Why does it have, like, gate? Does it have scuff marks on it? It, no. has, like, it has, like, it's been taken out and, like, at least, like, you know, hilariously wagged at somebody. No, before. no, no, no. I did get it off of eBay, though. So. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's definitely a refurbished. Yeah. <laughs> it's a refurbished. Ah. No, we re rubbered the outside. Oh, there you go. And then below that was a gift certificate. I thought it was a three layer gift. I think you would appreciate that. Was there a gift certificate? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. underneath. <laughs> what, well, you guys just stop at Dildo and like, yeah. that's enough? Jay goes, wow. gold! Believe in, We've been, believe in yourself, Jay. Dildo for three days. Uh, <laughs> I love that you're going to go back to your trash to find a bag. You're like, what was the dildo at? Oh, I still have the bag. <laughs> There's really a gift certificate that's hilarious. Because all I found, Christine's been slowly mowing through the chocolate, and I've been laughing at that dildo. Oh, I thought, you were, saying, I thought you were going to say you were slowly mowing through the dildo. <laughs> slowly. Yeah, Dilly yeah, yeah. up tolerance. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. It should be like I'm yeah. stretching an ear hole. You go, <laughs> <laughs> when it's sincere, it means so much more. Uh, this is definitely a crowd that appreciates a good dildo story, I think. Oh, right? hell yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Every person in here has got a dildo story. Their own horror nightmare. Um, Dave, you celebrate Hanukkah? Whoa, don't say it like that, Hitler. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much of a celebration, you know. It's just a, you know, menorah. You know, you light a candle, you Maybe move on with your life. We got a menorah this year. We got a menorah this year. Oh, that's sure. sweet. That's cute. Yeah, that's what it is. It's more cute because I don't know. There's, I don't know any prayers or anything. You don't. No. Let's see the crowd, what they know. You guys know Hanukkah, right? You know it? I'm sure your boss has told you about it. It's uh, <laughs> Jewish Christmas, as we call it. <laughs> My favorite day is the fifth day. I love that. Uh, Cinco de Hanukkah. That's really <laughs> where... Uh, <laughs> That's the real drinking holiday. <laughs> That's, That's when you cycle. get to learn who all the cool Jews are. Yes. The Illuminati. That's when they show up. <laughs> Welcome to the fifth day. Give us all your stuff. What... Is it, it's not your Christmas, though, because it's not like the biggest Jewish holiday, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. it is. Is it one of the top ones? No, it's Rosh the, Hashanah it's like, is the biggest one. That's the New Year's. It's, it's like, five, it's like five, learning seven, six, soccer eight, at buddy. this point. I'm, I'm all <laughs> but as far as, I got as, Christmas and Easter. As, I'm far as, the presents, as far as the presents holiday, it's Hanukkah. It's that, the, that, so that, it is the presents that's holiday. That's the competition for Christmas. Well, what about Kwanzaa, then? Oh, is that a gift thing? I what kind of gifts do you want Kwanzaa? Like, outrage? I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Full tilt outrage. And I a merry this- mm-hmm to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I made you this cane out of buckhorn. Yeah. Happy Kwanzaa. Speaking of voting in Alabama, guys, <laughs> <laughs> you live in crazy times. <laughs> We're such crazy times. Your okay, crowd is not, a, uh, this is a, the first time I came here was mostly like guys, like just like dudes. Yeah, now it seems to be mixed out nice. Now it's like the girls it. they capture. I like it. <laughs> we call this the festivity hall. <laughs> Show us what you've captured in the year. <laughs> Everyone's proud of their bounty. Yeah. Sir, would you like to share? <laughs> they classed it up. She's it's called like a, a blue fin from yeah. up north. This is a <laughs> cheerleader. It's like wearing a vest to an olive garden. It's just a little classier than it was last time. Yeah, just a little. There's some hair gel in the hair. It's never not classy enough for a vest if you ask this guy. I tried to pull off vest in the Joey Lawrence era one day. <laughs> Did a vest with a uh, t-shirt sleeves rolled up Brandon Walsh style cuz you're a big- that is real that you're going real peach pit on that one oh, cuz oh. you're cuz you're bigger is that what you're saying cuz you're a bigger man yeah it is true a fat guy wearing a, a vest you might as well just be running on a beach ball because uh-huh. i mean it's like just <laughs> <the> circus bear <laughs> ah, yeah but <laughs> look straight from the forest it's a bear that can ride a bike <laughs> oh i'm on a tiny bicycle hey everybody but here's look one at me, of the high school one of the good things of being a fat guy wearing a vest is like you can have a pocket watch. Whereas a thin guy with a pocket watch and a vest, nobody wants to hear about your thin fucking time problems. I'll tell you this. You know what? It's more train conductor than anything. Yeah. Yeah. All aboard. Yeah. Fat guy with a pocket watch, real toy maker. Skinny yeah. guy with a fucking. Skinny guy with a pocket watch is yelling at a lady she has to let go of her soldier boyfriend yeah. for the last time. I know. Last stop on the way to Tulsa, 318. Board, final boarding. I said all aboard. I'm sorry, sir. You're going to stick about you. Lady. Oh, I will write you every day. Sir, you gotta get on the train. I feel like I should do a voice now, too. No, Dave. <laughs> Die, you American dogs. You will never win. The caliphate we turn is David, everywhere and nowhere. We turn Dave into a voice.
this guy. It's a Christmas miracle. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys look like two grips hanging with the stand-in for Book of Eli. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Norman. <laughs> Best part is Norman so killing layered. with the visual jokes. <laughs> yeah. It was oh, yeah. so layered. Wow, we finally found his ultimate venue behind the crowd. <laughs> I'll be playing a... I'll be playing a dumpster behind Madison Square Garden next week. <laughs> He's got a pipe in his voice like Jeff Dunham. <laughs> uh, fish, 13 shows. Uh. <laughs> it's good to see you again, New York. Ah, uh, Nazi. Well, I like that you're slowly peeling down headlines. Yeah. <laughs> it, went, it went from hood to hat. I don't want to reveal the swastika right away. You know, it's just an exposed brain. <laughs> <laughs> this is what makes him a genius. I thought that was the Jewish thing, like uh, no one can see your real hair except your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Always going with the Hasid look. <laughs> I thought there would be more Jews here. There really aren't, huh? No, they're all oh, out of this oh, Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you well, back. when you're you know yeah. when you're on a platform based on truckers, hard to pull the chosen people. Oh. I understand. Jews are in a weird shit, dude. I fucking, uh, I've been to two swinger parties in my whole life. Mm -hmm. Both of them riddled with Hasidic Jews. Really? With hookers. Wow. What? Yeah, it's awesome. And what happened? Did, well, you they didn't, do, they you just, didn't hook up, weird. but they fixed your watch. And, and what happened? <laughs> <laughs> they sold Jay, yeah, they got Jay Elise as he was coming. <laughs> How'd you feel about moving the way he right. Start right here. What do you think? Is she pretty or is she not pretty? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I'm gonna put it my speckle in her no matter what. But is it worth the money or something? Yeah, you know what I see as an art piece. Is it worth the money? I go here, <laughs> we go there, I take it a noble, I go boop, boop. Wow. Just <laughs> <laughs> hit my, my fucking tooth on the microphone. <laughs> I fucking love his Adam Duritz. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I gotta tell. Fuck you. Yes. <laughs> Can you do Kim Jong Un? <laughs> Again, not in this climate. <laughs> That's like drawing Muhammad. Yeah. What do you think their uh, Christmas looks like over there? All praise be to Kim Jong Un. You think? No, I'm just practicing. Wow. <laughs> I'm going over there to make a lot of money. Wow, the crowd got nervous when I brought it up. I'm sorry, I was that it? For the for the crowd, they're allowed to drink, though, right? Oh hell yeah, drink! <laughs> no, we have to make them have an unfun time. Nothing's better than a beer and some pudding, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> I told you. Uh, it's I like you it's like let's eat for divorce. All right. <laughs> We now that cheese gone, that I can drink dinner and eat dessert. We when call I, that the Milwaukee cop combo. <laughs> when I told you I wanted you to come in, I said I, I always loved watching you do your uh, tell me what you're drinking and I'll tell you how your night's going to oh, go. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Uh, which is fun. So I said with our crowd, maybe we can do that with the tell us what your holiday drink is and we'll tell you how your holidays are going to go. <laughs> do we have an audience, Mike? We've got to take a break, I know, but let's do a couple real quick holiday drinks. Raise if you have a specific... Just holiday. tell us what you're drinking. Yeah. Basically. What do you drink on the holidays? Rumble mints. Tito's and Rumble soda. mints? Yeah. Rumble mints, really? Rumble mints. Whoa. <laughs> like real rumple mints or street rumple mints? Uh, Purell. <laughs> Purell. <laughs> 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 well, you, you like it a little spicy and a little tangy and a little sweet, so you're going to wake up on an unplugged air hockey table <laughs> <laughs> screaming gold and old Valerian. <laughs> That's how I do it. <laughs> how about Who else, here? Jacob? Who else we got? Yeah, just, let's hear a lady. Go ahead. Ginger just a ginger ale. You have to go home and give your cat a middle name. All right. <laughs> Make sure it rhymes. A ginger ale. <laughs> what time does this flight land? <laughs> That's a very, very sober drink. I didn't know you guys had the straight edgers coming in. Oh, uh, yeah. We yeah. go all sides of the spectrum. We go rubble what, mints what's to next? ginger ale. What's next, Jacob? A flat yeah. earther? Yeah. Let's see. Well, who do we got? Cocaine. Nice. Dan, do you want to handle that one? or? <laughs> That's a real solo holiday right there. Yeah. Either you're in a bathroom or your family's already gone. You're going to end up in a headlock in the 7-Eleven right across the street. <laughs> He's going to be the dollar store looking for tins because he made 7 million cookies. 
<laughs> you're gonna think a gingerbread cookie is looking at you. And <laughs> you're gonna hide in a closet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna you're sledgehammer a gingerbread house. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna spackle up your chimney, paranoia. <laughs> He's not getting in tonight. Ain't no one getting. You're in. gonna bite the head off. <laughs> Go ahead. That was uh, a good one. Nice one, buddy. We have a question. Oh, you got from, one over there? Question from John Suzuki. Oh, the heir of the Suzuki fortune. Coquitos. What did he say? Coquito. You drink mo- mojitos? Mojitos. Coquito. Coquito. <laughs> Spanish eggnog. A tortilla. Spanish eggnog. I've just explained a that. Spanish eggnog. What is that? Well, you're going to get drunk and kick yourself out of the country. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to climb the wall the wrong way. <laughs> you're not going to uh, keep me out. Gonna, you're going. All right. He'll figure it out. Uh, hey. Ah, fuck. Hey, buddy. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let him go. <laughs> John, you're going. You know what? He'll figure it out when he gets over there. Mark has a drink here. Yeah, Mark. just uh, Jack and Edibles. You know, they're, they're paranoid. Wow. <laughs> Jack and Edibles? <laughs> Holy That's shit. a man trying to forget something. <laughs> That's a man who's going to try to suck his own dick around the fact that he's wearing a sweater that has a battery-operated blinky light on it. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to catch a real sweet, tiny neck burn. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get tongue the tip, though. <laughs> That's the night he does it. That's his oh, gift to himself. Hold on a second. I'm li- I'm living one of my smallest dreams, seeing a guy in a cape sit down. <laughs> it's like Superman on a bus. Like, <laughs> can't and you g- hurry? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, David Town. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, buddy. Happy holidays. I think I knocked over your drink. The man. Yeah, happy holidays, buddy. I love, you, buddy. I love these guys, on. and Norman is awesome, too. Yeah. You guys are great. Thank you. One of the greatest of all time, David Tell. <laughs> Want to take a break, Danny? We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. Live in the Village Underground. underground. <laughs> no shit. Um... I don't. I hope you guys enjoy our next segment. But I just let me tell you, as someone that's kind of on the outside of it, I am so fucking excited for this next segment that I got high before the show. Yeah. I mean, that's a lie. I would have gotten high regardless. But this yeah. segment I really. Feel like when we got high, we weren't talking about this segment. I was like, I was thinking about it. Oh yeah. yeah. But you get it. All right, you ready to come back? De- oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry, no. Clark Kent. Dead rats got to suit up. I turned around looking for Superman. Let's come back from break. DJ Dead Run. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Live from the Village Underground in New York City. Fuck that motherfucker. God, this really is the shittiest music. For real dum-dums. Real dum-dums have this on their iPod. Yeah, if it hurts your feelings, good. Let it sink into the bone. You Take a good look at your iPod. Yeah, <laughs> and then delete some tracks. It's the Bonfire, live from the Village Underground. It's our holiday show. You, know, Dan, you bring it up. Have you ever deleted music from your iPod? Right? Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't come back. When, that, when they no, fucking... see, when you delete it, when you're just like, it's like, you know what? I don't need I'm Blue by Eiffel 55 yeah. anymore. Can I tell you who I just did that with? <laughs> Three UB40 songs. <laughs> you know what? I'm never going to be in the mood for red, red wine Not ever anymore. again. Not anymore. I'm too alone for that song. <laughs> um, but but it did re- you, oh, when you start getting rid of music because you know you might kill yourself, yeah. it comes up. It's real Suicide Watch tracks. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that bouncing around on shuffle. <laughs> I did notice, though, that when Lou plays holiday tracks, I've wondered, I have fucking uh, Christmas song voice where it's like, have you, that's, I have like, no, 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 no. but just the start of the song. Oh, yeah, dude, to look you look like you should hold, you look like you should hold microphones like this. <laughs> From now on, God bless you, merry gentlemen. That's right, everybody. We're going to win this war. Let's send home our boys. So uh, I, I want to say it was a couple months ago. One of the hardest I've ever heard Jacob laugh was watching Big J air drum in studio. And I brought it, was, it. It was hard to explain because it was so fucking impressive. That I watched it, I was like, that's actually like a talent. And then, cause in the same episode, I told you our good buddy, 
Justin Silver was air drumming on the drive back from Poughkeepsie. And he was just doing the drum counts in my face where he's going four, five, five, seven, 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 seven five, seven, eight. five, seven, five. He mixes it up. It's crazy. It's crazy. This guy's all over the map. <laughs> so we shit on Justin and Justin's like, I'm a better air drummer. And we kind of thought like, well, what if we ever had the opportunity to do a live air drum off? <laughs> and the time has come for the first the time. Ever is now for the first ever bonfire air drum kumite. The Between dark arts. The bonfire zone, Big J Okerson. And I present his challenger from places unknown, Justin the Beastmaster Silver. Beastmaster. You know the what's Beastmaster great? Beastmaster himself. You know what's absolutely awesome? Here's some water, buddy. Oh, thank you, buddy. Justin said it. to me, I didn't know what Justin was going to wear. Justin goes, wait, you see my outfit? It's hilarious. And then he was like, but let's find also a way to eke in showing off my great body. What a piece of shit. You know what? what a piece of shit. you from the fucking Instagram people. Justin, you really go with fucking hot girl Halloween costume. <laughs> You go, I'll, I'll be, be a, a, cat. a sexy I'll be a cat. Cat. Like a bad, like a bad bird lady. <laughs> like a no, like a naughty beast master. Yeah. Like, like if birds, birds, like if birds want to rest on me, but also fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I never fuck the birds that I catch or save, Dan. Yeah. What's that? I don't fuck the birds I catch or save. No, it's the ferret. It's the ferret you fuck. Yeah. <laughs> those birds. I'm saying those birds want to fuck you. I'm saying it's a consensual thing. So. We got very excited about this. Now, I want to say this for the record. I want to put this out there. We also... I'm going to... No, no, these are my friends, baby. No, no, they get a little upset. talking to you? Yeah, they get a little upset sometimes. If birds ever attacked you, I would never blame the birds. (laughs) I go, they finally turned. I don't know what took them so long. He's been controlling them for years. They broke out of his spell. Um, I want to say this. Jay, say this. Justin, I'm just going to put this out. I, I know it's a bit... But I want to say Justin has practiced for this a lot. How Admittedly, much did you practice? He'll say this. He practiced hard. I wouldn't say I practiced hard, but I practiced hard. <laughs> Shh. It was 12 hours worth of practice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I love the fact that those birds tiger mom to you into practice. They're <laughs> honest birds. I raise honest birds. I'm a good parent. So. <laughs> Justin, pra- I, I, and so you're just going off pure talent. I'm going to Pure Town. I sort of know all three of these songs, but what I say, just what I want to be already aware of, and yeah. I don't want to cheat here, but I just want to say, I feel like Justin's going to go for technicality. I'm going for showmanship. Showmanship. Now, let me just, uh, as the host of the show, I can't really debate that, but let me introduce to you the judges of the first ever Bonfire Air Drum Kumite from the You Know What Dude podcast oh. at Liacast.com. My big brother, you all love him, Terry loves him, Bobby Kelly! Yeah! Oh, Bobby! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, on the mouth, I got it on the mouth! <laughs> He's wearing lip gloss. Holy shit. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Oh, he's wearing lip gloss. Fucking like Justin's. <laughs> wow, Justin, you got, you got soft lips, man. You, you too, buddy. Dude. I got it on the lips from Bobby. Dude, I caught it. It was like I, a no, cinematic dude, kiss. I, listen, I, I was a joke that was like, I'm going to just kiss. Mm-hmm. I'll kiss you and then kiss you. No, dude, get out of here. You fucking <laughs> fag. Are you saying it was fag? It, it was nicer than you thought it was going to be. Buddy, it wasn't nice. It was. It did something. Yeah. Oh, like, wow. no, I'm not. <laughs> why like, fuck going home to your wife those, tonight. Yeah. Nah, fucking shit. Why do you think those birds flock to him? Because <laughs> they want to fuck. Oh, is this your new thing? You're gonna get a fucking bird whisperer show? This is gonna be yeah. This is gonna be my new. This is like my. This is my hamburger. Did you learn to whistle yet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Is that the opening of your show? Yeah, I call them. 
probably, from Europe, CB- probably Europe is you're pretty good. good. Whistler, by the way. I'm a fucking 1998, 99, and 2001 world champion fucking Whistler. <laughs> Let it rip. Fuck you. Let it rip. <laughs> from CBS, Justin Silver is the Birdman. Watch this one, right? This is the one that I won in 1999 with. Ready? Whale, Bobby. (laughs) Ha (laughs) ha (laughs) ha. Is that Bird in the military? God bless America and birds. So, Bobby, uh, you know a lot about drumming. You're, you're a drummer yourself. I had to learn to play drums, yeah. Yeah, for Bobby Drums legit. Rock and Roll yeah. on FX. So I know how to play fucking any ACDC song. That's it. Got, you know, rest in peace, Malcolm Young. You got to bring up dead guys. That kind of bummed me out, you know. I don't know. He was fucking 98. Well, you know. I think he still had a couple good albums in him. <laughs> yeah, the dementia sit in, but sometimes that's where great songs are made. So... <laughs> There's like three people that actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> huh? Everyone else is like, is he being mean? But I'm one of them, Dan. Our other... What's that? Oh. Oh, yeah, Judge 2. Well, let's introduce our other judges uh, from the staff. Jacob Batad, everybody. <laughs> now, Jacob, you'll be judging out in the audience, but you will be watching and judging, right? Yeah. You're going to get a gauge of how the audience is feeling? Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm going to be broadcasting school's finest. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm a drummer. I'm going to wow. take this seriously. You're fucking enthralling, so. Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, you're a drummer too, but you watch child videos of children drumming, which is Yeah, what, what? kind of I'm sorry. I have a question. What kind of philia is that? <laughs> I'm only into child <laughs> drum videos. They got to be rhythmic and hairless. <laughs> <laughs> I need a kid with a strong ankle. <laughs> Look at their Look at their soft bones just moving all over in rhythm. It's like watching lava settle. <laughs> Our third judge, also from the staff, Black Lou. Yeah. Black Lou. Black Lou. Black Lou. The Black. only member Can of the you bonfire. Say that? Oh, yeah, that's his name, Black Lou. The Lille. only member He's of the bonfire with natural Is that grandpa- ah. Is that grandfathered in? Yeah. Black Lou? No, he, he, yeah, he told us to call him Black Lou. Can't Lille. he just be Lou? <laughs> No, he can't. Oh, cool. I didn't know the HR department was showing up today. Fucking chick has a Wawa shirt on. Now I'm hungry. There's a lot. Now There's a lot of Wawa shirts in here, Bobby. Two things. Yeah, we wow. rep Wawa wow. hard. I would say it's the food of the Wawa. Wawa. Oh my god, you can tell. Look at the size of them. <laughs> Oh, we all deserve that, you baloney smelling fat fucks. I'll get a couple body rolls out of me. <laughs> Justin really does the hot girl just wants to dance yeah. up on the bar. Is this the like, Oh, are we doing this? Uh, are we fucking doing this? in a connection with animals. <laughs> and they say that you gotta do it. Yeah, we get five. We yeah. Well, now we're all hot and bothered. Let's get to this fucking air drum competition. Uh, all right. Here's how it's going to play out. Now, let me explain how it's going to play out. Get we're those do... fucking thin Ugh. fingers away from me. <laughs> those <laughs> fucking <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> wands. <laughs> Bobby, don't you? They're creepy Bobby, then. Bobby, come with me <laughs> to see Christmas Pass. I want to be a dentist. <laughs> Dan really is. Dan's my Ichabod Crane. <laughs> hey, I'm the constable of this here English town. Ah, there's no headless horse. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty. All right. It's also known as piano fingers. I wish you'd uh, stop busting my balls. Sometimes I'm sensitive about my hands. <laughs> so now you're just getting nub points. <laughs> Three rounds. Right, Chris Rock fingers. They're really ET like. 
How's a laugh for her? How do you know? Do you have four eat? knuckles? Shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now that's all. That's all he could get in. It's like uh, a bird claw. Yeah, what? The? It's like a bird claw. Dude, Come stop over trying here. to shoehorn into your thing. <laughs> hey, Dan. Like, would you say it's bird-like? Like, no, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> the guy with a fucking bird nest on his head really yeah. can't buzz oh, balls. Oh man! Yeah. Goes, look, look at, at your those fingers. talons. <laughs> look at that beak. Uh, easy, look. John Leguizamo. <laughs> <laughs> if He's only my, my career was going that way. Well. in Spanish Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> He's about a parrot. When I was a boy, I owned pigeons, but I moved out to a parrot. <laughs> mira, mira, they speak and fly. And then I what are you to doing to... down there? I do nothing, mommy. <laughs> well, come upstairs. I have rice and beer ready for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And then, oh, the body, body just cousin, nails one man shell. My cousin works at the Barrio Pet Store, and I go in there and look at the parakeets. I go, tweet, 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 to the parakeets. And then I go home so sad and do my homework, but I think about the parakeets all day long. And then one day I went in, and he said, try some chicken. I just made some chicken and rice, and I ate the chicken. And then halfway through, I was like, oh, my God, this is small chicken. <laughs> This is my parakeets. Are you saying, Jose, they made you eat the parakeets? No, no, no. They did not make me. They tricked me. Dude, nothing makes me happier than the thought of John Leguizamo with a legal pad writing all this down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good like, shit, huh? Someone's, about to, win another, someone's about, to win, about to win another Cable Ace Award. <laughs> I love how you turned to Mexican. Yeah. Oh, it's super ignorant. Uh, oh, shit. So here's how this drum battle is going to work. We got three songs. Right? Uh, each, each. Three each. So we're going to do three not rounds. Not the whole song. We're not yeah. a fucking whole song. Yeah, we're just going to get some technique. Four and then minutes. We're going to go to the judges. They're going to score. And then at the end, they're going to they're gonna tally their scores. They're going to let us know. But yeah. But yes, sir. How am I going to tally? Uh, I, am I doing it in my head? Yeah. I'm going to well, tally. Gotta, yeah, you know, Jacob and Lou, we didn't really plan this out. All right. <laughs> Sick. So you know, when you tally, you have a piece of paper. And a I know, no, no, we can get you a piece of paper. We made right a back. fucking DJ helmet and forgot to bring paper and pens. <laughs> By the way, I think that perfectly sums up who we all were in school. <laughs> where they're like, where's your pencil? And you're like, hey, can I have a pencil? <laughs> My trapper keeper's dope as shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, Trapper Keeper makes me laugh. It's always funny. Never not funny. So, Justin is the visitor. He's the away game. Oh, it's a home first? game. So, we're going to have you go first, Justin. Hang on a second. Are you ready? Do you want me yeah. to hold your nest? I got... I was, yeah, you can hold Don't my nest. Don't bite my long, bony fingers. <laughs> All those oh. birds want to <laughs> sit on your fingers. Dude, my, what's so funny is... Oh, shit. Oh! A bandana with birds! A bandana with birds. Dude, this was... side of the room appreciated a lot. Go fuck yourselves this side of the room. I don't care about you now. No, it's I also the back. know it's for a fact back. that my head's so big that there's no way this bird nest could fit on it. But God damn it, if I'm not going to try. You're going to look like a fucking little old church black lady. <laughs> well, then buy me a ticket to a t Oh, Tyler it's a yarmulke. <laughs> You should have your own kids show with that hat. <laughs> hey, kids, come on guys, in. Do you guys want to talk to our friend, old Larry the Lion? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for trying to bail me out on that one. Thanks. Uh, just, just yeah, you want? Okay. Oh, oh, now I can fucking tally. Thank you, producer. Christine is the glue that holds us together, and Lou is the backbone. That being said, you guys ready to start this drum battle? <laughs> The first ever bon Bonfire Kumite. Justin, are you ready for your first song? Ready for my first song. Lou, let's do this shit. One, two. That's Justin Silver round one. Very, very impressive. Coming out real strong. Jacob, very impressive. Jacob, what did you think? Justin, you played with a lot of power. <laughs> But Goddamn I right did, did pick up on that stick clip. <laughs> Wait, you didn't like his technical aspect, Jacob? Fantastic technique. Thank you, Jacob. But I can't overlook what happens. What stick? happened? Oh, my God, I'm I scared. heard those sticks click. Oh, uh, he's a stickler. He's Jacob the stickler. Did that, 
Jacob, oh, we have a lot of fun. Jacob, am I right? If that's what pumping through an amplifier, that ruins the whole concert. Uh, you know, I feel like yeah. you don't have a say in this right now, my oh, friend. Sorry, that's fair yeah, enough. Jacob, yeah, yeah, just fucking yeah, 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 Chill out, bro. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that as a guy with a nest on his head. Yes. <laughs> It's not over yet, though. Out. I got to see Jay. Oh, well, this is still round one. Black Lou, what did you think? I thought it was fantastic. Thank oh. you, Black Lou. Thank I you agree the, with you. The you're you definitely the Randy waited. Jackson of this. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I love you, dog. You killed it, Justin. <laughs> Thank say, you, dog. Black Lou. Bobby Kelly, what did you think? I First of all, that is a hard uh, little beginning of a song. Not really, though. T- no, the timing is a little... <laughs> because it's off. Well, it's fine. a little... Uh, listen, I don't want to hear from you, Jay. It was great. It was great. I was waiting for that at the end because someone could come in early. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just giving Jay birds. A bird egg! God, is that a real really egg? the Beastmaster. Is that a real egg? God, I don't know. Is this Cadbury? <laughs> Are you guys ready? I, I didn't even fucking judge him! Yeah, he's cho- talking. Hey, hey, he's saying nice hey, things. It's sorry. the holidays. It's okay, buddy. Oh, sorry, sorry. What'd you think? <laughs> I don't like that Dan can calm me down. <laughs> I, spent years on, I spent years on YKWD becoming the body whisperer. You my palm on my hand like I go, the I go, hey, hey, <laughs> hey Bruce Banner. I, yeah. I like, you know what? The click of the drums, he's got a point. I'm sorry you about Click that. the drums, man. All right. You look better than that. Be better than that. <laughs> I'm working. That's fair judging. This is in my normal drum chair, by the way, though. Okay, well, let's, so you know saying. what? We're not going to hold that against you. Thank you. We are that. moving on, though, to the first song out of Big J. Okerson. Uh, by the way, keep in mind. Uh-huh. Showmanship, and you know, yeah. and wait, technical. fucking just that's go. Man, that's a man that didn't prepare. Us. Fucking do this. You thing. ready, Jake? Oh, e cigarette oh. in now. Blue Cannonball. Ah, oh, that's Big J. Ogerson. Come on. Showmanship. I mean, we gotta go right to the judges. Start off. Jacob Atat, what'd you think? Uh, well, I can't wait to see the other two songs. If that's the yeah. start, Jay, they say that jazz drummers make the best rock drummers, and I think you proved that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Black Lou, what do you think? Timing impeccable. You looked fantastic. You killed it. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. That was that Randy Jackson, Bob Kelly. There. I was scared. At the, I, I can admit, I was scared. And you... Blew me away. <laughs> yeah. Unfucking believable. That's true. Showmanship, right. timing, performance, it wins. Is. It is a real strong showing out of Big J in Woo. round one. But we're moving on to round two with the Beastmaster, Justin Silver. <laughs> All right, there it is, Justin Silver, round two. Strong drumming. I'll tell you this, it's consistent, and I think that's what matters. Jacob Batat, what do you think? <laughs> Justin, I'm not even a Pearl Jam fan, but I think Justin has spoken. I mean, you you did quite a rebound there. I'm liking what you did there. You played that with ease. Really good stuff. What the birds say, Justin? We say thank you. Black Lou, what'd you think? Great job. The birds have spoken. Thank you, Black Lou. I think this is becoming like a cult thing. Bobby. What the fuck was that? That was an eagle. That's an eagle. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. That's ju- that's Justin's plus one. It's okay. Just flying around here. Her name is Sheila. No, that's Bobby. Sheila. Bobby Kelly, what did you think? I have to agree with uh with the black guy. Yeah, I, think, I mean, dude, you were there. All you have to do is say Lou after instead of guy. It's the same amount of letters. Well... Just I, don't know, I don't know him L-U? as well as you. To me, he's the black guy. <laughs> and when I mean the black guy, black I Lou. mean Jacob. Oh no! No, listen. I th- I think. Look, you were good. I mean, you you know you you were doing four on the floor, which is not real. Your kick was off. It's it, doing bad. Do, I mean, that's a guy at the base level calling out a big. He was kick. just doing four on the floor like this shit, which it really wasn't. That kind of threw me off. But right? you still look good. And you know what? I, I'll give you, uh, I say it was good. It was good. Not as great as these people. All right. But I think it was good. Thank well, you, Bobby. That's a solid showing around, too, for the Beastmaster. Now we move I on. Want, I want to point out again, showmanship. <laughs> again, showmanship. Song two for Big J. Okerson. Here we go. <laughs> it's a goddamn bird hat. That's the man I do a radio show. Yes. Let's, let's go to the judges. Jacob Atat. 
Jay- Can I have a Jacob. go first, then? You know what, Bobby? Bobby. I kind of wanted to keep some I just order want all in the here. I have low self-esteem. I never had a dad. And you're my friend. And you're fucking what? Jacob Black. Jacob Black. Hey, not me. Hey, 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 hey. It's me. What? Hey, what? hey, what? hey. What? hey. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, listen. Can I have a hat too? Yeah, of course, dude. Which hat? You, want you Christmas? can have you let him wear the bird hat. Christmas? Christmas? Wear Christmas? the bird hat, yeah, I, want the the, bird I don't want to wear the hat. You want the bird hat? hat? I like the you Santa want the bird hat, hat buddy? Chubby. You calm down, bud? <laughs> hey, hey, we're all here. We're all friends. Hey, shh. You know what? What? Why don't you go first? What'd you think, bud? Okay. <laughs> I think Jay is the motherfucking man. <laughs> he got my dick hard. <laughs> He got me huh? up, and I wanted to get the fuck. I just want to see. You still got to push my belly button to have it come out. It's, 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 it's inside. It's like it's you're like, smuggling yeah. a bird. Yeah, my, my dick's like a muscle. It's inside the shell. <laughs> it only comes out. It only comes out when the tide goes out. It's resting. <laughs> Jacob Patat, what'd you think? Jay, in round one, you showed us technique. <laughs> but in round two, Here comes the best. you showed us showmanship. Yeah. yeah. Pizzazz. I thought I was at a Metallica concert, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he went to one in Miami. That's how good it was. Black Hole, what you think? The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Those are high marks. Those are high, high marks. Well, this is it. <laughs> It's Jacob the final is round. the fucking funny. Uh, he's not funny, but he's the funniest guy ever. Uh, that's why you see he's our. That's why he's our executive uh, producer. Oh my god! Third song, Justin. I'm not gonna lie. You're definitely down on the scoreboard, but I, I feel disagree like, with all this. But whatever. Okay. Well, that's the hot guy confidence kicking in. There you Says go. the guy with the bird bandana. Yeah, but this is his, Justin's final song. So if he can steal back, come on, the buddy. bonfire air drum kumite on this third and final song, the Beastmaster. Justin Silver. Oh, there's Justin Silver. Third and final song. Wow. Wow. That. Wow. Wow. That would have been the shit if he didn't click his fucking sticks again. Jay, Jay, sit down and let the ball fly. Unforgiving fucking piece of shit. (laughs) Hateful, unforgiving. No. 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 Justin, Jay, sit down. God, you look great yelling in a tank top. <laughs> sit down. Unforgiving. You sit that ripped, chiseled body down. Yeah. Oh, you tear the sweatshirt off and jump on you. You look so good sitting, too. Ow. It's so infuriating. That's where all yeah. my stuff so crashes down, into. Calm down. Calm Just down. Just Calm down, bitch. Let me rub that head. Let me rub that big head. That big Denver head. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Look up. Look at me. Oh, it's hard to not click the sticks. It is. Well, you did Thank it twice. You, so, Dan, let's just go to the judges. I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> Get on ramp top. Black Lou, what Thank you. you. I'm, not a fan. I'm not a fan of stick clickers. I'm not a fan of stick clickers. Oh, come on. That sounds... What stick what clicker? Can I just say that does uh, sound like a yeah. racist clinic yeah, toy it thing? It sounds yeah, very racist. Yeah, stick like, yeah, especially in the West Village. I don't like yeah, stick clickers. <laughs> really? Yeah, right. damn stick clickers. Uh, hey, you want to go click sticks? These goddamn butt pirates. I don't like the stick. Yeah. <laughs> Clicking sticks. Jacob Patat, what do you think? Justin, you did stick click at the beginning. Shut up. But <laughs> I'm fucking aware of it. Very fucking aware of it. Look at that body. Sit down. Sit down. God, oh. Don't sit down. You Stand yell, up. Yell when, more. When you yell, you get Everybody. veins in your pecs. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh. It's crazy. It's Bobby. <laughs> Dude, Bobby just spoke to Justin on the deepest level I've ever seen possible. <laughs> He burned him down. Way to burn him down. Jacob, continue. <laughs> oh, your ass is hot. Why is your asshole just so hot? hot? No, but around it's cold. The <laughs> asshole is hot. Yeah, it's like it's a fucking my prosciutto. Asshole. That's how you get through a lot of winters. I was going to say, but despite his stick click, he did reunite, uh, you know, unite the crowd with his uh, groove. Absolutely. I mean, That's the crowd good. was Thank eating you. out of his hand like a bird, like a bird. on the step of death's door. I don't know. So I give you points for that, Justin. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that. Bob- you- yeah. Bobby, what would you think? 
I think Say I, stick I, click and watch. What I'm happens. not gonna stay. I didn't. First of all, I didn't see. I, I don't. I hope you. you say it in the tank buddy, top. Just comes all the way off, buddy. Don't instigate. I'm, I'm gonna say something, okay? Please. I I love the uh, groove you got. I love the ending. Was you hit nailed the ending? Thank you. You, you the foot was a little fucked. The, you no, know, the, dun, the dun, base dun, was no. a little fucked up. It was a, the, the kick was a little off. You're doing that for, but you united the crowd. Not reunited. They were united. I feel like it was a reunite. But they, they, everybody got into it. They sang the song. You got everybody happy. Thank you. Except for that guy. He's been miserable the whole fucking show. God forbid. Stay home, fuckface. Nobody asked you. <laughs> With that being said, I we think, move I, on. I think it did good. Thank you, Bobby. I appreciate that. <laughs> We're going to move on to Big J's final song. Are you ready for the no, final whoa, song? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. What's up, Jay? In this number... <laughs> I've already brought you now, of course, little drummer boy, which was a technical. Brought you showmanship. Yeah. This is where I put it all together, and I want to make sure what made Jacob almost piss his pants with laughter in the studio was all four limbs of mine. Don't you start making? Don't you start writing checks your ass can't cash? To create the masterful drum intro that we all know is Led Zeppelin's Moby Dick. Whoa. No No way. No way. Here we go. Big J. Okerson's final song. Let's fucking do it. I know that guy. <laughs> I don't know that guy. I'm I want to know. The symbol. Yeah. I want to know. The, the symbol. Uh, dude, you don't got to tell me, bro. I've lived through it, and I can't tell enough people. <laughs> God damn it. That was good. Final judgment. Jacob Atat, what do you think, and who do you think won? Dan, I've told everyone that Big J. Okerson is the John Bonham of comedy. It's me. <laughs> I've said that, too. I'm afraid yeah. he's going to die in his own puke, hey, wait, too. Wait, wait. <laughs> just, 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 just but, the bottom of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, sexually. I meant sexually. Yeah. That's different. Not, that's no, that's a power I position, bro. That's funny. I have a good quad. He's like a like click, click sticker. I uh, oh, sorry. But uh, stick clicker. I know. I was, oh. It is until tonight that I realized that Jay Okerson is also the John Bonham of air drumming. Jay, you have my vote. There it goes. One wow. vote overall goes to Jay. Wow. Black Lou, what do you think? Travis Barker, who? Oh. My vote goes to Jay. It's lit. Dude, it's that's lit. the biggest compliment possible. Out of a Randy Jackson like judge? <laughs> Come it's on, Lou. Shit. Oh, a play modern, gotta... cool term? Get the fuck out of here. I'll tell you what. A player's got to play if Black Lou's going to vote for him. Yeah. So. Well, Bobby, who do you think won? I must say both of you guys did a great job. It's hard to get in front of a crowd like this and fucking do anything at all. Especially this fucking guy. But any, anybody knows who loves drummers, you're waiting for that fucking symbol. <laughs> Big J fucking nail. There you go. He's the champion. So the Big winner J. of the first Bonfire Air Drum Kumite, Big J Okerson. One more hand for Justin Silver, the Beastmaster. I do want to hear that song. I do his win song. Um. But I want to say one thing. Say it, Bobby. Next year, Christmas, I challenge you, motherfucker. Oh, oh shit. Bobby Kelly, Justin Silver. We're going to take our last break. We'll be right back. It's the Bonfire. Let's come back. Did, oh, DJ Dead Rat, do you got to put your effort out? Just go. <laughs> you want to know how I know that Lou, DJ Lou's been drinking beers? Because for the last break, I go, do you want to put on your helmet? He goes, just go. <laughs> He's so ready to get stewed up. He's, He's like, like oh, they get it. it. They fucking get it. Yeah, all right. You're not going to give everybody one last Dead Rat of the season? One last Dead Rat. One last Dead Rat. Dead Rat. Dead Rat. Dude, it's like watching Vader put his helmet on. <laughs> in that back thing, or is it sitting in that pod? 
Yeah, the dead rat. That's the best. The Welcome. dead rat lives. Welcome back to the bonfire live from the Village Underground. It's a Christmas show. What a fucking fun show. I've had a good time. I love you so much, and it's been such a fun time, but we're not done. We got one last thing for you. Yeah. Hey, this makes me... <laughs> Dude, where this were you when I was a happy. child? You're the most supportive person. <laughs> yeah, you're so funny. I want to buy you a Nintendo. Oh, man, you're so funny. I want to take you to a Niners game. Club box. I want to work at Aetna and never chase the comedic <laughs> dream. Um, That's what I feel like I'd be doing. If I this makes it. me very, very excited. As you all know, if, if you listen to the show, as I assume most of you do, uh, we are such a big fan of my native tongue, the Philadelphia accent. <laughs> Uh, it is. My money's worth. It's my favorite accent in this great country. <laughs> it is, it's the best accent. And in I the love world. a nice, I like a nice Dennis Farina, North Chicago accent. No. Probably Ch better than most people like a lot of things. Chicago's got its charm, but Philly is just gully. <laughs> <laughs> I love. Dude, what a perfectly placed heckle. <laughs> because Philly is just garbage. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. We forget enough. our audience has such great timing sometimes. They but are well timed. In the holiday spirit and mixed with a nice Philadelphia accent. Yeah, we thought we would have a good friend of the show. You guys know him as a, a member of the Bonfire Campers group on Facebook. Uh, an original camper himself. Been there since we started. The Ginger Ninja himself, Ryan. Come, Come on, on up here, Ryan. Ryan. Stage. <laughs> In the wall, I'll get in the middle here, buddy. Now, Ryan, we couldn't pay you to have more of a Philadelphia accent. Can I just say one thing? Yeah. This crowd is so enthusiastic. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is gonna be Jay great. couldn't go ham for this show. <laughs> You're so enthusiastic. <laughs> you ever get uh, athlete's foot? He's tough acting to acting. <laughs> I mean, it just spills out of his face like that. Yeah. We thought we would have as a nice holiday treat for everybody. Can I sit? Yeah, ginger, ginger. Sit, sit down, dude. Take it's going seat. to read for you. Gather around the fire, everybody. Here, take a seat here, bud. Gather around the fire and Let's listen. Get around this. As the ginger ninja regales us with the famous poem. Oh, Bobby took my Santa hat. With a few tweaks, which was the night before Christmas in Philadelphia. The bonfire edition. <laughs> It was the night before Christmas, went all through the house. <laughs> not a creature was stirring, not even Jacob the mouse. Perfect. <laughs> the campers, the campers were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of DJ Dead Rat danced in their heads. Just premiered tonight. <laughs> and Maggie in her kerchief, and I in my cap. Had just settled our bong for a long winter's nap. It's definitely one story, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not being honest? I thought we were being honest. It's a rancher. It's a rancher. He's got a basement. More of a fruit seller. <laughs> Went out on the lawn. <laughs> Please keep going. It's great. When out on the lawn, <laughs> there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. <laughs> Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the bag, and smoked up the stash. <laughs> the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow <laughs> gave a lustre gave a lustre of midday to objects below. I mean, you really forget how rich in vowels this thing is. <laughs> it's fucking deep. A E I O U. Oh my god. <sighs> when what to my wondering eyes should appear but Bob Shalansky and eight tiny reindeer. Hey, the satellite king. <laughs> hey, hell yeah. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, 
I knew in the moment it must be the Chicago Dicks. <laughs> the moment might be my favorite word so moment. far. Moment. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was clatter. <laughs> They've all been great. You haven't gotten to the fucking reindeer names yet, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't think we've hit our Spoiler peak. Alert. <laughs> More rapid than the Philadelphia Eagles, his courses, his courses they came. And he whistled and shouted and called him by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch. I mean, this was built for that fucking accent. <laughs> top of the porch. Perfect. To the top of the porch. <laughs> So up to the house, top of the course, so they flew. <laughs> with the sleigh full of Wawa and Macho Man, too. All right. Nice, he's up there. <laughs> and then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof <laughs> the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. <laughs> there it is. That's the best. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> hoof? You're gonna walk away from hoof? Not laughing about hoof? Oh, my you're not laughing about hoof hurt. in two days, you're fucking broken on the inside. <laughs> hoof? As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, Fell Dog came with a bound. Oh, hey, what's up everybody? He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot. And in his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle, Watch out there. a bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a pedo Elvis just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, and his nose like a cherry. <laughs> cherry Coke. Cherry Cokes? <laughs> I get my pants. By the way, this is definitely a Christmas where the adults get better gifts than the kids. <laughs> hey, PlayStation, kid got a sock. <laughs> he was a chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. Which oh, is pretty wait. fucked up if you think about it. <laughs> this guy's like this fat dude came down and started laughing at him. <laughs> Look at you, he was like, ho, shit. ho, do I smell like bologna? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know how you're going to wind up on the naughty list. <laughs> what are you all staring at? Do I smell like baloney? Oh, this suit traps a lot of heat. <laughs> he spoke not a word, <laughs> but went straight to his work and filled the stockings, then turned with a choke jerk. <laughs> Relative. And laying his finger aside of his nose. And giving a nod up to the chimney, he rose. <laughs> he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like down of the thistle. But I heard him exclaim, as he drove out of sight, happy campers to all, and to all, a good night. Yes, Ginger Ninja! Merry Christmas! Merry happy Christmas, Hanukkah! Ninja. Merry Kwanzaa! Happy, happy holidays. holidays! We love you guys! You're the fucking best! Again, I love you, Jay. .com for all your pudding needs. Go to Kinesis.com and get the new Crackle Crumble. Happy holidays. See you in 2018. Crackle, crackle, motherfucker. Crackle, crackle.